What I'm going to show you how to make are some little miniature coffee makers. Here's one, and here's one, and I'll knock the cup off that one. I just dropped this on the way over, so now it's all crooked and I have to fix it. Um, but, of course, they're they're just fake. This one, the lid doesn't come off. This one, it, it does, and you can actually even see the um, coffee, and it's all shiny on the inside. I'm just going to explain how to do it because it just uh, takes too long for all the glue to dry in, in between. Now, I found the little coffee mugs, the little gold coffee mugs at Hobby Lobby, and it's with a, a set of like a little, um, like a, a punch bowl, and these hang on the edges. That's where I found my little coffee cups. And um, you can fill those with the pretend coffee if you want. What we're going to do to start with is you're going to go to the hardware store and find a fitting for, I don't know, a copper fitting. I don't know what they use it for, water or something. Uh, plumbing, I think. So you find your, your fitting, and um, you can either have it like this one, where it's just straight, straight copper fitting, or, all right, okay. Or you can find one that goes up like that and that makes it look more like a commercial one and it gives it just that one extra step of detail. And Are here's a little bit smaller one that I have, but it has the detail as well. And uh, then I have a bunch of old jewelry findings that are just miscellaneous stuff. Oh. And you can use whatever you want. They don't have Mom, to look I like this. Oh, it's alright. Just put them back in the bag. Thank you. Um, let's see, there's this thing, I don't know, it's just a piece of metal. You glue it on the bottom like that. And I like to use uh, super glue, but make sure you get the super glue that has a lid like this. It costs a little bit extra than the cheap one, but it, you get to use it all because it doesn't all dry out. So it doesn't have to be that brand, but just a super glue. Then you, you super glue the bottom on, and um, we're going to kind of make more along the lines of this one. This is a, a two-cupper. It's a real big one. And this part here and this part here is really easy. All you're doing is you're taking an, you, an earring finding. Let's see if you can see that better. It's just an earring finding, like a clip-on earring. And you're going to take it apart. Whew, and you're going to keep both pieces here. Um, and this top little piece see how close can I get on this before it gets fuzzy there um, you're gonna have somewhere where you can hang jewelry you're gonna want to cut that off and be careful because it's gonna fly when you go to cut it see it went far far away and then okay. this is gonna be your spout see the other? <coughs> what was that Bend it back like that. <laughs> what is wrong? My spider is a little thing and it scratched me. My foot. I'm sorry. Did you go okay? Yeah. Did you pick up all the flower seeds? Yeah. Thank you. See? Good job. What are you doing? I'm making a cappuccino machine. No pasta uh, machine. Oh, it's a pasta machine? Oh, yeah. this is a cappuccino machine, though. No, it's not. It's <sighs> okay. a pasta machine. Okay. So you put that on there, and then this is another. You glue it on, super glue it on, and let it just let it sit until it's dry. And you also have different sizes. If you wanted a bigger one, you could do that. And what are you doing, child? Can I have those back, please? Mm. <coughs> Put them back, please. Just a moment. Don't just a moment me. Get your booty just over here. Just a moment, please. Come on. Put them back. So anyway, once you you glue on your bottom, you glue on your spigot here, and then you're going to have a, um, this, where is that little piece? Catherine, darling, you know you're driving me cuckoo today. I know. You know, okay. 
Um, I'm taking another little piece of metal. It's just a little finding, and I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to glue it on like this. It's an L shape, and then I'll glue on um, the back of the earring to glue it on to like this. So it's that way it's eating. sitting, it's, it's going to sit like that. And then you take, a, where you, this, is, this would be like a uh, pendant that you'd glue a picture on for a necklace. And that's what I'm using to hold the cup. And it would go down, a glue on top of there. And you have to glue each little piece and let it sit and glue and then sit and glue and sit. So you'd have that part on, which is the, the coffee spout. And then you have the L shape, then you have the back of the earring, and then you have the... Um, thing here and also on this part you would cut off get your wire cutters and cut off that very tip there without it flying everywhere anyway so you'd, you'd cut off the excess part that was sticking out and let's see what I did on this part here is just um, like it, it's a clasp actually and I used the inside of the clasp as the, as the L shape and then you take off the little ring like that and glue it on there and that makes it just look like a little control box let's see can you see that just glue it on there that's your control box and you take the that's the ice one half of a a necklace clasp that you can screw together um, the part that you don't have that, has, that goes in like that, you cut off the little wire so you don't have that on there. Where am I? Yeah, you don't have that. And you would glue it on to the side like that as just a little button. Um, and you can do any. No. Quiet down. You can do any little thing like that. It doesn't really matter. I have some um, eye pins that are real fancy and they have a fancy top on. You can, and I have several different ones. You could put that on the end, you know, cut it real short and glue it on there. So that way you have a, a cover for the hole. It covers up the hole. Mm -hmm. And right here in the middle, I just have a, oh gosh, my brain's frozen. It's a bead cap. And then it has another one of these things, a smaller one, stuck in it. Would you please stop throwing those? For this one, I have I have an old watch that I had. I broke it apart. And this is actually the watch face. The gold and the hard plastic is, is the face of a watch. And I put that on there. And then I glued on this bead cap. And the little winder button on the side of the watch is what I glued on top here. <laughs> you win. Go, go. Now, here's one bead cap. It's kind of like this one. And then you just... Oh. But you glue it on permanently if you want. You wouldn't have to, but it'd fall off. And I had three... Thank you. I had um, three little oh. little bead caps that were kind of looking like cog wheels. If you have cog wheels, that's awesome. The cog wheels, you just glue them so that they're intertwining just a tiny bit. And then you, to cover up, you fill it up. I'm going to need that, sweetheart. Here, you can use this one. Um, you fill it up with, with the clay as high as you want it. And don't put it too high. Then you can use brown for hot cocoa or black for coffee. And you just, you can paint you can lots of liquid paint in there and let it dry and then after it dries if you want it still shinier you can use some triple thick to make it shiny or just about anything clear, clear fingernail polish would work to make it shiny and then you put the ay, ay, ay. then you put the lid on and there you go and I think it's really cute if you can find the cog wheels which I had a really hard time finding in old clocks and stuff the cog wheels really make it adorable so that's all there is to a cappuccino machine.